In this video, I will demonstrate a demo on how to backup a PostgreSQL database using Stash. Here, I am going to deploy a PostgreSQL database using KubeDB. Then, we are going to backup this database into a Google Cloud Storage bucket. You can also manage your PostgreSQL database using uh, manually by not using KubeDB, but KubeDB mitigates your efforts of managing the tedious and difficult task of managing production grade databases in your Kubernetes cluster. Let's jump into the terminal. Here you can see that I'm watching for ports resources of all namespaces in this section. You can also see that I have installed Stash Enterprise and KubeDB Enterprise Edition both in my computer. Now I will create a namespace demo. Let's create, the, let's create this namespace. A namespace demo has been created. Now let's see the PostgreSQL database manifest file that we are going to deploy using kubedb. This PostgreSQL database version is 14.1 and storage type is durable and we are requesting for one gigabyte of storage here. Let's create this database. And also see that the namespace of this database is demo and the name of the database is sample postgres this database has been deployed you can see that a pod has been created here named sample postgres zero and it is in running state. Now let's check if the database is ready to use. You can see that the status of the database is ready. Let's verify that kubedb has created a secret and a service for this database using the following commands. You can see that a secret has been created by kubedb named sample postgres auth similarly a service should have created here is our service the sample postgres and sample uh, sample postgres ports these services are needed to connect with the database KubeDB creates an app binding CRD that holds the necessary information to connect with the database. Let's verify the app binding. We are simply getting the app binding in demo namespace. You can see that a app binding name sample postgres has been created. If we examine the manifest file of this app binding, you can see that this contains the connection information needed for stash and kubedb also to connect with the database. Here, the spec dot client config field specify the name of the service that connects with the database and the respective port number. The spec dot secret field
specify the name of the secret that holds necessary credential to access the database and also the spec dot type specify the types of the app this app binding is pointing to qdb generated app binding follows the following format qdb slash postgres if you are not using qdb you have to create an app binding manually for connecting with the database now let's execute to the port and insert some sample data in our postgres you can see that the port is running now let's execute it Let me clear the terminal. We have entered in this pod. Now let's log in as Postgres for user. We have logged in as Postgres super user to list the databases available in this database. We are running this command. We can see that three rows are here. And the list of databases Postgres, template zero and template one. Now for our demo purpose, let's create another database name demo. A database has been created. Let's verify that the demo, the demo database has been created. Let's run the list command again. You can see that the demo database has been created. We will now connect to this demo database. We are now connected to this demo database as user postgres that is super user we will create a sample table here named company this table will contain two fields name and employee the table has been created to verify that the data has been inserted in this table. Let's run this command. You can see that a table has been created with the following field name and employee. Now let's get out of the port. Let's prepare the backend now. For accessing the backend, we need a storage secret that will contain the necessary credential for accessing our backend storages. Now let's create a storage secret in this demo namespace. The storage secret contains a restrict password that is needed for encrypting the data we are going to backup and our Google project ID, also Google service account key needed for accessing the Google Cloud Storage we are using. A secret named this is secret has been created. Now let's create a repository. At first, let's have a look at our repository spec uh, manifest file. We have 
named this repository as CCS repo and the namespace is demo. And we are pointing to the backend here. Our bucket name is test testing and the prefix or the path we are going to taking backup is demo slash postgres slash sample postgres and the storage secret name is this is secret if you have a look at our bucket you can see that this test testing bucket is empty at this moment Now let's apply this repository CRD. A repository named GCS repo has been created. Now we are ready to backup our database to our desired backend. Here our desired backend is Google Cloud Storage and our desired bucket in the backend is test testing. Now for taking backup, we have to create a backup configuration CRD. This backup configuration CRD we have written here. You can see that the name, name of this backup configuration CRD is sample postgres backup and this is the cron schedule for our backup configuration this will trigger a backup in every five minutes and we have mentioned the task needed for this backup for resolving this backup we are using postgres 14.1 version so stage function for this is stage uh, function for this is postgres backup 14.0 this task will resolve the function automatically. We are mentioning the repository name here and the app binding needed for connect, connecting with the database we have deployed earlier. And this we can mention retention policy here. We will keep our last five backup in the cloud. Let's apply this backup configuration. Let's have a look at this right section. A backup configuration has been created named sample postgres backup. And this is the scheduled and this is the age. And we can see that the task name is postgres backup 14.0. Here we are using postgres version 14.1. So we have to mention the task 14.0 or greater. Here we can see that the repository CRD, this repository CRD name is GCS repo. No snapshot has been recorded for this repository yet. And here is the cron job that, it, that has been created by the backup configuration. Actually, that is the cron job has been created by stash operator. This stash operator resolves the necessary information from backup configuration CRD and it will be scheduled in every five minutes. For our demo purpose, we will use our stash plugin for triggering a backup. Now, let's trigger a backup session now by using this stash tool. Our backup configuration name is sample postgres backup. And the namespace is demo. A backup has been triggered manually by using stash trigger. We can see that a backup session has been created and the phase of the backup session is running. And the invoker of this backup session is sample process backup. That is the name of our backup, backup configuration CRD. And we can see that the invoker type is 
backup configuration here. Let's wait for this backup session to be completed. Here we can see that it has the phase of this backup session has transitioned to success date. Let's check the repository section. Here we can see that the snapshot, co snapshot count has increased to one and the last successful backup has been updated and integrity is true we can ensure by this that the data is intact now let's check the cloud let's refresh this page you can see that a demo directory has been created let's enter into it postgres sample postgres and here we will see that a snapshot has been recorded by stash and its time is just now by this you can ensure that the backup has been created by stash that's how a backup process works in stash and it, it was a real demo of how you can take a backup of your postgresql database using stash we will come with a video of how you can restore your postgresql database from a backup data using stash later